Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to merge data frames by row names in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you an example and in the example I'm going to use the following two data frames. So the first data frame can be loaded with the following two lines of code. So if you run lines two and three of our code, you will see that a new data frame appears at the top right of our studio. And we can also have a look at the data by running line four of the code. And as you can see here at the bottom in the R Studio console, our data frame contains two columns and six rows. And the row names of these six rows are ranging from one to six. Now the second data frame that I'm going to use in this video is created with lines 7 and 8 and 9 of the code. So if you run this code, um, you can see that a second data object is created here at the top right. And uh, also here we can have a look at the data by running line 10 of the code. And as you can see, the second data frame also contains two columns and six rows. But what you have to see is that here in this case, the row names are ranging from three to eight in contrast to the row names of data frame one, which had the row names one to six. Now, if we want to merge these two data frames based on the row names of our data sets, we can use the merge function, as you can see here in line 13 of the code. And uh, then within the merge function, we need to specify the by argument to be equal to zero, because this actually means that the merge function is joining our two data frames based on the row names. Yeah, so if we run this line of code, you will see the output below here in the RStudio console. And what you can see is a new data frame, which has five columns. So uh, here in the middle, you can see the two columns of our first data frame, x1 and x2. And on the right side, you can see the two columns that were contained in our second data frame, uh, y1 and y2. And what you also can see is another column which was created by the merge function, which is called row names. And this column is containing the names of the rows that were actually merged. So as you can see here, only four rows were kept in the final data frame. And this is because uh, not all row names that were contained in data one were also contained in data two. In data one, we had the row names one to six and in data two, we had the row names three to eight. And for that reason, all row names that were not contained in both data frames were excluded from the merged data set. So this is something you have to keep in mind when you are merging two data sets by row names. Only these rows are kept for which the row names exist in both data frames. Yeah, so that's basically how to merge data frames by row names in R. However, if you want to learn more about this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial on the merging of data frames by row names. And in this tutorial, I'm explaining the code of this video in more detail. If you want to check out the tutorial, I will put a link to this tutorial in the description of the video. So you could check it out there. And of course, also, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more basic R tutorials in future. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.